Hi, Sheena Douglas with another little tutorial using the fabulous new aqua tints and this time the bright and beautiful set and as you can see it is bright and it is beautiful I think gorgeous um, really really clean vibrant colours in this set really really pretty one um, as usual what I've done is I've made myself a colour chart and I've also put the names on all of my jars so that I can see that oh I love that gorgeous teal colour oh it's number six and it's in the bright and beautiful set so then you know what you're going to work with now the technique I'm going to show you with this set of course all the techniques that you've seen with the other videos um, will work across the board but I'm going to share with you the court and crystal technique in this video and this is what you, you're looking at I think that is that is amazing it's otherworldly really isn't it it's like a, the constellation where I live in a galaxy far far away a um, little bit of glitter added to the mix and it can look even more um, cosmic. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these just a little bit out of shot and I'm going to bring in, because just to make a little bit more room, my um, piece of acetate. Now, you're going to need acetate for this technique. If you want to stamp on it and emboss on it, I would definitely say you want the heat resistant acetate. And if I wanted to stamp image on here, I would have stamped it on one side and um, heat embossed it because the heat resistant and then turn it over so you're working on the reverse side to your image you can just stamp a line using archival or stays on and remember if you use archival you have to heat it to set it and then work on the opposite side so that's your little start of a turn also want a piece of paper to carry it because it can get a little bit unruly the other thing you're going to need is a piece of Tissue paper was initially, I used to buy this fancy tissue paper. Now, it's whatever I've got at hand. Even a bit of the kitchen paper. Even if it's a patterned one. Just separate it. Take it apart. And then get rid of the pattern bit. These little embossed bits can actually add a bit of interest. I've got a little off cut here that you might be able to see. If you look in there, can you see where there's like little bubbles? I'm sure that's been caused by the little um, indentations in the, in the kitchen paper which I think is really cool. Looks kind of like it's done underwater. Okay? So just whatever you use. It could be um, tissue, could be, you know, kitchen paper, whatever. And you're going to scrunch it up. And that's now going to be ready to play. We'll open it up a little bit, but you want that scrunched up. That's what's going to give it the interest. Next thing you need, and you definitely need this, is this. It's really difficult doing, give us a clue on TV and trying to let you see what, what this is all about. It's the um, Pledge Multi-Surface Wax. That's the new name. I still call it this, clear, because I've bought it for years for this pr uh, process, for this technique. Um, but this is the new name. Pledge Multi-Surface Wax. You can get it, I'll get it in, you know, Asda, Sainsbury's, all that kind of malarkey. Or any of your large, you know, supermarkets. Um, and it is supposed to be a floor cleaner. Ha! As if it's a, one of the best additions to craft room ever. Because it is a liquid glaze. It's kind of like, if you imagine a, a, a glossy kind of glaze just diluted down further. I like to pour a little bit in a lid. Like that. So it's more manageable because that massive bottle is just a little bit too, you know, too much. Pour a puddle of it like that. Now this is where you're going to find out if your table's flat or not. Because um, you surely will find it really, it'll start running everywhere so I'm going to spread this out try to keep it so it's not going to go off the edge of the acetate onto the paper because when it dries it'll glue it to the paper if that's what happens but you do want a puddle you don't want just a thin coating you need a puddle for this to work then I'm going to start dropping some colour oh, we'll put a bit there a bit there maybe a bit there touch up there now thing to know is if you're using these aqua tints the colour is really strong in them so you need the smallest amount this is the one of the best products that well it is the best product I've ever used for this technique because with, especially with the more intense sets like the, the bright and beautiful the colours are so vibrant that you need just the smallest smallest bit to get a really big pop of colour so you can see how pretty that's going to look um, just smush it around now that would look that's going to look fantastic if you want to add a little bit of glitter, you can. 
just to bling it up a bit more. Be careful about adding too much glitter. The tiniest amount will make a big difference. If you put too much in, it'll just soak up the liquid, um, which is not what you want to happen. You want the liquid to soak up into this that you prepared earlier. And you're just going to pop it on there like that. It looks like, um, you know, if this, if the kids, if you find the kids doing something like this, I think they'd be in trouble because it, it would just be far too silly. A tech, you know, that, that will never work. Um, now, what you want to do is make sure that your little bits are all stuck and you've got enough liquid on there. Now, sometimes you haven't got quite enough on and I don't like to see the white bits. So take your lid and then just put a, get your large brush and just make sure that you've just added a little bit more of the solution and that's bonding that to the acetate and then what you're going to do is you're going to leave that you're going to set it to one side and leave it for a good few hours overnight is actually better you can force dry it after about a couple of hours with it a hair dryer is actually better than a heat tool um, especially if you're not using heat resistant acetate because you can warp it but just gently encourage it to dry and then that liquid will even though it's cloudy as you can see in there hopefully it will dry crystal clear and what you'll be looking at is your gorgeous colour through the acetate with its facets and interest and wonderfulness. And you can imagine, so what you'll do is just trim that all together and you've got a gorgeous background for um, your cards. And I don't think anything looks like cotton crystal. That's just not another technique that looks any way close to that. Um, but these colours are amazing for this technique. So there you go. Um, thank you and look out for other videos, quick tutorials using the Aquatins. We will be adding to them all the time because they're such a fabulous, versatile product. Have fun.